Okay, so I thought I'd try and get remote desktop working with my uh, Mac, which has also got Windows on it. Um, so to do that, let's have a look at uh, add remove software. And then you want to type in XRDP and uh, it will do a search and two come up. Uh, the one that uh, comes up in all the guides that I've had a look at is just the normal XRDP. So I'm not sure about that Zorg XRDP. So I'll just put this one on, apply, uh, put in your password. Okay, that's installed. And it looks like it installed the other bit as well because both of them are coming up now. So hit OK. Uh, and then need to know what the uh, IP address is of my Pi. Uh, so if I type, type in IP config, and you can see that I'm 192.168.1.186. So I'll take a photo of that just in case I forget. Okay, so you can see my Pi behind. Uh, it's just started up, I've restarted it. And uh, now I'm gonna start up Windows on my Mac. Uh, and this is a 2010 Mac. I've got a load of videos on this uh, on my channel. I know a lot of people won't be interested in MacBooks, uh, maybe if they're interested in Linux. But it also runs Windows as well. That's why I'm holding the Alt key, because this is dual booting Windows 10 and Mac OS. Uh, so if I click on Windows and hit return, okay, so I need to type in the bottom here, uh, or you can press the command or Windows key and start typing remote, uh, and then you're launching remote desktop connection, uh, and you've got to put in the IP address, and as you can see it's already in here, 192.168.1.186. That's the IP address that I got from my Pi just now. Uh, hit connect, and it will ask you for your username and your password. So my username is Pi, because that's never changed. And I'll cover up my password. I don't know why. Uh, and there you go. There is the Pi desktop. Uh, and you can see the mouse moves around fine. Uh, if I click on programs uh, and launch, say, the internet browser, you can see that that comes up. But interestingly, if you have a look up at the TV screen, the Pi uh, is outputting to HDMI, not the same. Uh, so this is just like this is the Pi uh, installed on this operating system. Now obviously it's not gonna be quite as fast, but um, if I click on that, you can see that works. Uh, so I haven't got um, two finger mouse control uh, on this MacBook because Windows 10, this, this isn't meant to run Windows 10, it's, it's much older um, than they support, but it does work absolutely fine, but I generally would plug in a mouse. So that definitely works. Um, I wonder if you get sound. Let's try uh, YouTube. I don't know how this is gonna do it. And then click on, oh, let's, I better go for one of my videos just in case. And let's just go with anything, go with that latest one. So no sound. Oh, no, I can hear something. Oh, of course, I'm using the volume controls on the keyboard, which definitely I'm gonna, whoa, what's that? Oh, that's probably because I was hammering F12, um, which I shouldn't have been. So if I go, where is the, there definitely is sound there but it's quiet and because I'm within window, I wonder if I press the Windows key. Oh, the, so the Windows key comes up with the apps. I say Windows key, it's the command key on a Mac. Um, so if I, oh, I can minimize here, look. And now if I try and turn up the volume of Windows and go back, it's playing, but it's really quiet. Oh, there you go. Oh, and that's, so it's actually coming from the TV. That's a bit weird. So if the TV was off, obviously you get no sound. So it looks like it doesn't transfer the sound uh, remotely, which I suppose is fair enough. Um, but if we go, as you can see from that video, it's playing all right. I can skip into the video. Uh, and so what this means is that I can control the Pi, uh, which is in front of my TV, but I don't have to have the TV on. So if someone else in the family is watching TV, then I can carry on with this. So let's pause that 
Uh, so say for instance I wanted to install a bit of software uh, or I wanted to uh, perform an update or something like that then that's what I can do so you can see I'm clicking on terminal here uh, and then if I do sudo at get update there you go and it's checking for an update so I can I can perform sort of various tasks on the Pi uh, and I can use it normally obviously there's going to be some sort of lag I guess I've got to play a game am I why would I not play a game uh, so let's go because there is a Tetris game in there let's hit play well that's not bad you know up rotates and down goes down well actually that I can't really complain about that my TV screen has gone off so the pie has timed out as, because nothing has happened on there so I guess if I was to move my mouse pad it would spring back to life or press space as uh, it coming yeah so it comes back on but it obviously times out otherwise I mean normally I wouldn't have this on uh, and I've neglected Tetris I tell you what that really doesn't feel that that bad uh, so if I just sort of move around so there are there would be some games that you could play uh, oh there's nowhere for that so let's quit quit out of that uh, let's close this session down by hitting close your remote desktop will be disconnected uh, and then it just goes back to that so let's reboot and go into Mac OS and see how simple it is on that that program is automatically on Windows 10 computers so you don't have to do anything for that it, it just it just appears if you start typing remote you'll see that it comes up uh, and all you need is your IP address your username and your password so this is booting up um, as I say this is a 2010 Mac with a 256 SSD in it and 8 gig of RAM but it's it's perfectly pleasant to use I haven't bought another laptop because I really like this device so I'm logged in uh, now on here if I scrunch on the trackpad you'll see there's a Windows program Microsoft uh, remote desktop and see what happens it's loading up I've never loaded this program on here before so it definitely looks different let's click on new so I guess this is the IP address again 192.168.1.186 uh, and then username is pi and the password I guess I'll leave all this as is 192.168.1.186 I'll call it that let's just leave it as that uh, hit that and that seems to save it and then hit start negotiating negotiating credentials oh and there we are okay oh wow so the so two finger scroll works and that feels really responsive so what's weird here is this is called up the obviously when you look at the TV you can see that it's still showing nothing but this has carried on so somewhere in the background this was this was running on the I don't know how that even works so let's close that down uh, and yeah close that window down so let's start again as if it were fresh and let's do games and let's go for that Tetris game again just to try exactly the same thing Pretty much feels the same so you could you know if it was like a you know adventure game or some sort of pedestrian game where where it wasn't that important about input lag or anything like that then you could you could definitely use that so terminal let's get the browser up let's do oh because I, I asked it to play sound through the computer as well so let's have a look and see how that works So let's do a search. And let's 
pick another video, any old video. Uh, let's go down to the bottom. So that's uh, coming out of my TV. And type in CMD. Yeah, it's not coming out of the the Mac. So and actually, I don't know how you how you quit out of that. If I do four fingers up, oh, there you go. So it stays on. It's on that desktop, uh, and that that app is on another desktop. Okay, there's loads of details on here, and I can't remember where I got the sound bit from. So that just gets me back into that. So, well, let's end that session. However, I do that. Well, I don't even know how to do that. Uh, so, I guess I have to do it on on that. Right, does that quit out? No, because that's still going. So let's try that X. No, that, that's back to the Pi. I actually don't know how to get back out of this. Doesn't seem to work. Uh, so I could do force close, but I don't really want to have to do force close. So there must be a ah, remote desktop. Oh, why would I not just try at the top? Uh, quit remote desktop. There you go. So that, it's as easy as that to quit out. So I just want to try one more thing, and I want to try uh, to do it with sound. So if I right click on that, edit it. Oh, there we go. So use all monitors. Session, connect to admin, redirection. Where did I get sound from? I don't, I, earlier on, I definitely had sound. Play on remote PC. Or oh, don't play sound, play on device, play on remote PC. Yeah, it definitely didn't, did it? So I'll do play on device. Maybe, maybe the Pi doesn't do it with this particular remote desktop program. So it could be that. Uh, so let's quit that, double click on that and see what happens in this uh, and let's very quickly, because I've got to get going, uh, try Chromium, just play the first YouTube video that comes up, that is uh, appropriate. No. Oh. So sounds coming from my TV. So if I was to turn down my TV, yeah, it's not coming from the device. So maybe that is something the Pi doesn't doesn't send that remotely. There may be something. If you know how this works and send sound to the the remote desktop, uh, please let me know. But I hope this helps. I'm really impressed, and uh, YouTube almost almost looks better on this. Uh, thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.